Wah. This is Terrence Gangster Wave, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back, a.k.a. The People Champ, Terrence Civilian Waves. I was just sitting back thinking how um, how we throw our lives away. Like sometimes we'll have something going on a positive note, and when it's not going how we want it to go, we'll get off that and go jump to something we think that's um, that's that's uh, profitable faster, even if it's illegal activity. And I want to speak on this legend from the seven. He really from the ten wall. But people know him from out of Holly Grove. Um, and um, his name was it? Navari Harvey. I'm going to tell you how I met him first. He have an interesting story as well. I was in Holly Grove um, one night by Black Magic. And I was about to make a move on a dude. So, what's that apple? I think that's Apple. Yeah, I come up. I'm coming up. I'm, I had him parked down on the corner, the opposite corner from Black Magic. Because I had a female that lived around there. I'm not going to call her name. Oh, real pretty. And uh, I had one of her over. And I was like, yo, you know such and such? She was like, yeah, I know him. I said, yeah, he played me on some money. That was my last. I was trying to get on. I just got out, thought I'd be in her tone. She said, yeah, he did. Y'all don't like that B word anyway. Da, da, da. She said, he always be down there by that club. Yeah. All right. But all the while, there was a hit out on him. I said, call me when you see him. She was like, all right. And it was two females, actually, that I messed with that stayed around there. It was in competition with each other. But anyway, um, I parked on the opposite side. Because you got this Oleander and Apple, what Black Magic set. So I was on the side where you facing, like, going towards the, uh, what that the canal at. If you go all the way down. So I'm on this side of Apple, on this side of Oleander, this way, facing that way. So I had parked down on the corner. It'd be kind of dark on that street. They got a little, they got street light, but it'd be kind of dark on certain spots. So I see him. And as I'm walking towards him, go put the work in. It's a light skinned dude in the alleyway, like, nah, gangster, don't do it. And I look. He got the chopper leaning on the side of the house, and he got two uh, nines in his hand. And I'm like, first, how he know who I am? And secondly, if I would have did something stupid or, or crazy, he might would have, you know, because I'm thinking this might was his hitman or somebody holding him down, watching his back. So, I backed off. I bought the mission, put it like that. Me and him would later meet up in jail. And we sat down, we talked. And all the while, he was uh, set to kidnap him that night. So I was about to mess his lick up. But I said, oh, this is here. This same guy, he used to produce a few uh, songs for, uh, y'all know, MC Dick. That my cruising down the street with the Morel Road at, he produced a few songs for him. He must was on an album called By Any Means Necessary. Take it to the maximum. Check that out. It's like uh, 1992. Uh, he, they came out with that. Um, but he went from being a cool producer, uh, you know, doing music, to just a straight animal. And, and it's a, and allegedly, he had 15 bodies. Allegedly now. A hitman. Dope boy. I mean, he, he, he was always a jack of all trades. But the room I want to clear up is they were saying that Roderick Smith out of the 17 Ward is the one that ran off with them 20 bricks from this uh Latino uh, from New Orleans. And for a while, people were saying that. And it was a hit out on Roderick. And uh, a guy called Roderick coming from the club one night and cashed in. This guy deceased too. But I would later find out that 
it wasn't Roderick that ran over them 20 bricks. It was Navari that ran over the 20 bricks. Yeah, he ran over the 20 bricks. So people just know Roger because Roger was like more famous, you would say, or well, Navarro was famous as well, but um, I think, like, you know, like a person gonna always uh, point out the one who's more popular. Like, you could be doing all the dirt, but it's, you know, you're gonna get the charge. And, and actually, this his nickname, Bam Bam. So, another y'all, a lot of y'all should know uh, Bam Bam. Y'all, well, you know, for if you're out of uh, 17 War. Bam Bam, a.k.a. Navari. So, step up, cold step up. But at one time, this was a cool, laid-back dude doing music. Good person. Um, and this, that, it just, that animal came out of him. And, and uh, he got the charge. I mean, you know, he the one that, that uh, ran off with the work, though. But anybody that knew Roger Smith, you knew him. If you knew Roger, you knew him. And um, the man, and I know y'all running that well, oh, gee, how you know this? Da, da. Okay, I got my receipts. You know how y'all like them receipts. I got my receipts on um, um, the guy that uh, deleted him or had him deleted behind that money, behind that work in 1994. So one would say, well, OG, you know, you did a lot of stuff too. In 1994, you was out and popping. Well, how we know you ain't do it? All right. In August of 94, I got arrested for homicide. True. But Bam Bam was deleted in November of 94. It takes me off the list. Now, back to what I was saying. Um, it just it just amazing how now I get it. You know how people always say, uh, because I'm I'm a man, I, you know, I believe in God. How people always say, God got you here for a reason. You know, we just say that all the time. But then I start looking at pictures with me and a lot of dudes. I'm like, man, everybody on here dead but me. Then I went to thinking about certain people. Like, man, he did, he did, he did. Um, I think about certain hoods. They had legends. Because I tell you, there's gangsters, killers all over New Orleans. Not no one man running no New Orleans. That's impossible. Um, but so, and I'm, I was thinking about the 17 wall, because I used to live back then at 17. That's the word Lewayne uh, rep Holly Grove. And I was like, bam, bam. Cause I know it's too, I know another bam um from back there too. Uh, he tried to he tried to he thought he tried to tip me when I went. I think he deceased too. Mm. He tried to put the tip down on me when I came in that parish. Cause he bald head, dog skin, swole like about six something. He stand at the ball when I first come in, when you first come in the parish, I wanna think, you're down into the real jail. I'm small, little coming in the door. He in the holding tank. He's staring. He looking. I'm looking at him, cause I hadn't been back there already, so um, he couldn't tip me, tip a waiter. But he's staring. He's staring at me, and he said, "I'm bam." I look at him, gangster. And then he went back and told Sterling, "Oh man, the gangster back here. He back in there. He back back here. I just saw him. Da da da." So you know, a lot of people will know you by your name, but they won't know your face. So once you scream that name, like, oh, okay, yeah, you somebody, or you affiliated with such and such, 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 okay, my eyes, my bad. You know, but it, the person won't say that, but their actions will show because you know, if a person really trying to tip you or try to scare you off, it's going to go further. It's going to be more words, going to be exchanged, blah, 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 or it's going to be beef on set when y'all see one another just by a stare down. That's just how crazy it was in the parish because a man going to try you to test your manhood. But, um, yeah, I was just thinking about um, Bam Bam, the one, the one from, from I can see out the Ten War, but he uh, he he grew up, he grew up in the Seventeen War. How they grew, so you know one would think like, man, what led you to go this route? Like, why you went this route when you had it good doing music? And then some people look at it, man, that music wasn't paying all that wasn't nothing. But I know if I can get twenty bricks. Man, I'm hood rich, cause everybody my age and maybe maybe forty years old or and up will say back in the days in the nineties, early nineties somewhere, if you had a hundred grand, you was rich. 
A hundred grand was like a million dollars back then. You were hood rich. But then, in the late 90s, we started seeing that kind of money. I know a young boy, he don't want his name. He, he, he living now, he made it out. But I remember he, he just had to ride this suburban with a bunch of the youngsters in my project. And for the drought, he bought two bricks from a dude out of 17 Ward. And the dude told him, he said, man, you know, such and such just been 60 with me. I said, what, that little boy got that kind of money? He said, yeah, man, I'm like, and I, he always comes to Project Cool. What's up, gang, speak to me all the time. And he's been, and I'm like, he right up under my nose with all this cash, man. I'm down bad and he down bad. He pulled a contribute to me, but he got away though. You know, right down to the day, man, I'm cool. We talk about that all the time. Yeah, he got away, he was a cool, quiet little dude, but he was getting money, he was eating. Right up under my nose. I feel played when I think about that. But hey, you can't get everybody. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to come in. I was just thinking about the, the guy, Bam Bam, because he left music behind. And I wonder if, you know, if he got children or family, you know, what they think about that. Or do they ever go and listen to his music just to think about, you know, his voice, hear his voice, see the potential he had, had he stuck with the music. That's just things I be thinking about. I just wanted to come and share with you guys that's hanging out, that have your freedom, that sometimes it might not be going how you want it. It might not take off as fast as you want it, but you got to be patient. And I know I tell a lot of people be patient. Sometimes I don't have patience, but that's that's really a thing. You have to be patient. You have to have patience. And we can work on it together because I need some help with that too in that area. So I could, you know, and a lot of us, we all could tell a person, man, be patient. You got to have patience because we're not dealing with that situation. But when it's our situation, we like, man, you talking about being patient, man. I'm trying, man. Enough is, you know, and, 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 you know, we we because we human, you know, we we not perfect. Well, I know I'm not. Like y'all gonna care? Yeah, I'm good. I'm all the way here, whatever. So, or um, shout out to Bam Bam, man, his family. I just was just thinking, man, how we met. And I be thinking about how I came close to that. And um, God spared me, kept me here, so I'm the plug. Yeah, I'm the plug. Yeah, I like that title. I like that guy sent me this hat. Yup, he sent me this. Y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drill, let's stop the violence, put the guns down, make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS. Y'all need to know y'all stacks. We got the nonprofit. They need us. The Instagram need us. Third War. The movie. Them boys at war. The reality show. Surviving without bird, man. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Make sure y'all tune into our podcast. Me and Crypto Jeezy. We hang out from like 2, 2 30 in the morning. That's when we started. And we just rock out till we get tired. Every night. That's what we. Well, I might start taking Fridays off. That's my Friday night. Friday might be my off day. Yeah, I might do Friday. But, um. Yeah, so anyway, it might be Friday and Saturday. I don't know. I, I'm just saying that I'm, it depends on how I'm feeling. You know, but I, you know, I need an off day. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we hanging out. We having fun. We letting people call in. You can give a shout-out to your people who you want to shout-out. You can promote you. Whatever you got going on, you can promote. Um, you know, ask questions. Don't come on with all that goofy stuff because we're going to delete you fast. That's right. The, 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 wait. I would delete button. It's, it's, yeah, that's that's the first thing I made sure that worked. I made sure that worked. I took some cooking oil and, and put it in. No, my bad. Y'all know I'm from New Orleans. I cooked some cooking oil and put it in there. So I know that button. That's the button I want to work. That pop, pop, pop. Get him up out of here. Yeah. So anyway, um, thank y'all for all the support. And I'm out. Mwah.